Teresa Collins, and I'm here because I have a confession. So some of you may know that after you hit 50, things happen. Um, and part of my aging and your aging is one thing we're all gonna age. Mm -hmm. And so we have Dr. Powers here. Hi. I love her, by the way. <laughs> um, and I wanna just get real with you that things change as you age. And the thing that, one of the things that has bothered me um, with my aging process and it's just a few issues. So I felt like my hands, as I got older, I noticed mm -hmm. they were really starting to change. Mm -hmm. Whether there were sunspots, um, I've also noticed that it's kind of weird, but it's almost like it's crepey mm -hmm. and just more veiny. And if you know, you know, I don't have to tell you <laughs> that your hands change. They don't look as youthful mm -hmm. and maybe full, mm -hmm. you know, so I don't know. So I just thought, you know what? I have to live with it. I'm 55. Um, it's part of aging, but then you said we could, we could talk about something that you so, could do to, yeah. to like, make me feel more confident because my hands show a lot. Mm -hmm. I think that what's so interesting is that if somebody takes a picture and you say, okay, is this your hand? Is this your grandmother's hand? Is this your mother's hand? You can kind of tell the age of somebody based on their hands. We talk a lot about the face. Yes. We do talk a lot about of how we present ourselves to the world, but we kind of forget about the hands and the hands get exposed to essentially everything that the face is already getting exposed to. Right. You know, you're rarely wearing gloves when you're out in the sun and you're mm. always driving and that's always exposed to the sun. So you're always going to see a lot of age in the face, but also in the hands. So you don't have to live with it. There are things that are, you know, possibility yeah. that we can do. Um, and like you were talking about, so you were saying first, some, some sunspots. Yeah. So I kind of yeah. think about the hands the way, similar to the way I think about the face. Like it's a skin mm -hmm. issue mm -hmm. or is it a volume issue or is um. it like a camouflage issue? And the, I'll kind of break that down. Okay, okay. So skin issue, like you're talking about, yeah. if you're getting age spots because of sun damage, you know, you're getting some brown spots, mm -hmm. similar to how we get them on the face, you can do a lot of different things for that, like mm -hmm. laser, right. where you're kind of getting rid of them. You're actually getting rid of precancerous lesions at that same time, which is kind of so cool. Good. So it's yeah. not only aesthetic, it's not only gonna look better, but it's also gonna be better for your skin overall. So oh, that's yeah. kind of the skin component. Okay. The secondary thing that we think about is, okay, like if I look at somebody's hands and we start to see veins showing through a little bit more, mm -hmm. and guess what? You don't really see those in babies, right? Mm -hmm. Well, babies have nice little plump hands, nice little yes. chunky hands. And so the youthfulness of the hand really diminishes over time because we lose fat. Okay, that so makes sense. So there are kind of three options out there. Okay. Um, one option is traditional filler. Okay. So similar like to- Like filler in your face? Yeah, like lip filler. You know, oh, like the same type I've of filler I've never done that, your, but that's, face. Yeah, yeah, okay, awesome. And you can fill under the skin, which is going to give that skin like a little bit of plumpness. You know, it's going to give you some of that like thickness back. How long does that last? It depends on the filler that we put in, okay. but six months to a year, okay. just depending on okay. how active you are with your hands, which we are. Okay, very we're active. active. Yeah. I'm, I, yeah. I love to clean. Mm -hmm. OCD mm -hmm. cleaner. Yes. Confession. <laughs> okay. Get in there. Get, Get in, in there. there. Yeah. Secondarily, you could do something that's more of like a semi-permanent filler. And okay. what that is, it's called Sculptra. Okay. Um, that's one of the products that I like to use. There's a lot of different ones that are out there on the yeah. market. And we do it where we dilute it. So you dilute it quite a bit okay. and you inject it into the hand and then it's going to kick in your own body's collagen. And so just yeah. like we lose collagen on yeah. the face, we lose it on the hands. Yeah. And so that collagen production is going to start okay. happening at like six to eight weeks. Why okay. does collagen matter? Collagen is like what gives us like our skin, like its tone, it's like brightness, okay. yeah. the thickness to the skin. And like you're saying like, oh, it feels creepy. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like, eh, like, okay. Yeah. Why is the skin just not as plump, you know? And it's it's just, veiny. It's like, yeah. you, if you know, you know. But It's yeah. just age, you know? age. And gravity age. always wins, sadly. Hey, and here's the thing. <laughs> I do want to say this. I think every day we're alive, it's a gift. Mm -hmm. So I... I'm thankful to be older. I, mm -hmm. every day's a gift, but why not say, you know what? Like if you can um, change the issues that kind of maybe bother you a little bit, yeah. why, not? why not? And so yeah. I was like pretty excited about yeah. this. Your third option, okay. which I kind of prefer as, mm -hmm. as the best option. Ooh. So Listen secret. everybody, here's the secret. The secret is if you take your own body's fat, so we all have a little extra fat. We hold it here. We hold it on the thighs, right? Yeah, we all have yeah. a little bit. 
I have more than a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, if you take that, your own bodies, fat, you take okay. it out, you liposuction it out. Okay. You process it and get it nice and thin and you can inject it. It's permanent. And the reason I like that is because filler, even though it's a great option, it's a quick option. It's one of those things that you you will get reabsorption, right? Okay. It's not your own body. Yeah. If you put fat in, there's a certain amount that gets reabsorbed, but once you're settled out, that's your own fat and that stays with you for life. Oh my gosh. That I mm -hmm. did not I did not expect this. So yeah. the secret, I knew you could do fat grafting in the face. Yep. You can fat graft your hands. Where do you get the fat from? Just anywhere? I usually take it from the belly, like around the belly button. So it hides yeah. really nicely with like a little tiny, tiny uh, poke incision right by the belly button or the thighs. Just depends I, I, on how, I have to go for the thighs. <laughs> how much people have and yeah. like the location. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the other thing that I really like about fat and the reason that I kind of prefer it, not only for its longevity, mm -hmm. but I like it because if you look at your hand, mm -hmm. what colors? are your veins. Like what color is the vein that's showing through? Blue, yeah. purple. Yeah, blue, purple. Blue, purple. And if you think back to your color wheel, okay, so think back to what's like kind of on the opposite side of your color wheel from like purpley blue, it's yellow. Yeah. And fat's yellow. So you don't only get the thickness to the skin or like the plumpness to the oh skin. Oh my gosh. But you're getting also the reason that we camouflage. Yes. Because you're counteracting that, that color wheel, so. I nice had secret. no idea. Yeah. This is a good secret. Is it painful? I see. Mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm asking as a as a yeah. patient. Yeah. Like, why would we do this what? if we're gonna yeah. get much pain? Um, the injection itself in the hands is not painful. Yeah. No. That's totally fine. Yeah. The harvest site where okay. we take it from. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be a little bit bruised and a little yeah. bit tender. Like I like to tell my patients, like if you're gonna go use the restroom, you go to sit down. Your body will remind you that you just had fat removed from there because okay. you're all bruised and tender. Yeah on the thighs okay. if we take it from the thighs or the belly if we take it from the belly so when for you, about 10 days. So when you do this procedure mm -hmm. and you do it, you harvest the fat, you put it in the hands, mm -hmm. um, just because I, as a patient, like how long does that take? So we can do it under local. You don't have to go under general anesthesia. You don't have to go under even like a twilight anesthesia. Okay. You can do it just under local. Okay. So you can be awake for it. Um, we numb mm -hmm. you up this in this area okay. and then we inject and okay. after that again it probably takes about 30 minutes okay. to an hour depending on how much we're taking um, and then by the time you're kind of ready to roll and kind of go back home again maybe hour and a half so not do you guys want to see it we should do it and film it I'll even <laughs> I can show it and take it that's out. Yeah. awesome yeah. I love that so I really appreciate that I had no idea you could mm -hmm. do that what my next question because i know you want to know because you're like me like now that we know the secret when would you see when would i see results you would see results almost immediately um technically sign when, me up <laughs> sign you up when we inject fat okay you're gonna see that plumpness right away some of it will swell just by the procedure right you'll have a little bit of swelling um and that swelling will go down after Bruising, about a little bit of bruising okay. not usually more okay. more bruising in where we harvest it from and then that bruising kind of swelling goes down by about seven days or so. Okay. But your final results after fat grafting aren't going to be until about a year out. And the reason I say that is because just by taking a little bit of fat from somewhere else in your body, even though it's your own, right? It's mm -hmm. totally your own fat. You take that and you put it somewhere else. Your body kind of knows, hey, this didn't used to live here. And it'll kind of reabsorb, reabsorb about 30 to 40% mm -hmm. by about that year. So do you tend to put more in? knowing that yeah we usually top it off a little bit okay. you know overfill by about 30 percent but i don't want you walking around looking like you have like boxing gloves on so <laughs> you know it's like a fine balance yeah between it really is figuring out how it much really to is. put in for each patient so. i love that i really yeah. appreciate this information because it's something that like i said was one of the issues like i've spent so much money mm -hmm. on products for my face mm -hmm. you know like how many i know like a lot of men and women, we, we spend the money to, you know, the, the facials, the, you know, maybe procedures, whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. And why are the hands neglected? Yeah. And I didn't even know you could do anything. And yeah. I was like, wait, your hands need to somewhat, you yeah. know, kind of match your face. And for mm -hmm. me, I do a lot of filming. Mm -hmm. I own a lifestyle design company. I do a lot of videos yeah. and um, I just, I found I was hiding my hands. Mm -hmm. And so maybe that's vain, but like if you, you know how like you have an issue mm -hmm. that, that 
you perceive, maybe it's a nose or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. I found for me, I know this is crazy. Some of you may can relate to it, that my hands were something I, I've been hiding because of the dark spots. I mm -hmm. actually have a ring on right now covering <laughs> a sunspot, mm -hmm. just to be very real with you. Mm -hmm. And um, do I love myself? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I love myself enough to say like, hey, this is worth the investment. Yeah. And when you have, can I just say this? Listen to me. Dr. Powers is freaking amazing. Yes. I've met a lot, a lot of amazing doctors, a lot of amazing people in my life. But I want you to know that the reason why she's here and the reason why I'm trusting her to do this procedure on me is because not only is she kind, um, she really cares. and she obviously quality safety her education so please if you're thinking about doing something like this or any other procedure make sure one i would say go to dr powers <laughs> but two make sure that you're doing your research mm -hmm. and um you know and and make sure that you're like feeling comfortable and safe with who you're going to mm -hmm. yeah i think beyond anything ask somebody is this their specialty do they do this often, no matter what you're having done? Absolutely. And ask to see kind of some of the results, ask to see before and after photos, um, and really ask to say like, what is the worst case scenario that can happen from this? I think that's a really good conversation to have with your surgeon. Thank you because for bringing that up. If they don't want to talk about it, that's not your surgeon, right? Yeah. You want to know if there's something that happens, what's the complication that could occur? And if that's the case, what are they going to do to be there for you? So, yeah, exactly. I could, we could do a whole nother video on that. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. is there anything else you want to tell me about? Or I think, I feel like that's, yeah, probably, you know, I think combination of thinking about the hands mm -hmm. really similarly to you think about the face where Absolutely. you're thinking about skin number one, Yes. what's on the surface of the skin, mm -hmm. how to treat the skin, Number one, wear your sunscreen. When you put it on your face, put it on your hands yeah, absolutely, too. Absolutely, absolutely. And if you want to kind of prevent those sun, those sunspots from happening. So treat your skin absolutely. and then treat the underlying volume or the kind of camouflage that you're looking for. So. Yeah, so make sure all the information is linked here, how to find Dr. Powers, how to find me, everyone here at the Beauty um, Connection, but make sure you do your research don't just trust me or anyone else. Yeah. You know, um, make sure this is your life, your story. And thank you for watching today. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah, and I you. feel like we now know the secret.